Speaking of big names, Buster Posey is back in camp, one of the signature players of the last generation, back playing this year after electing not to play last season during the pandemic. So let's go through an interesting exercise. If Buster Posey's best days are pretty much done, is he a Hall of Famer already? Let's do some digging in. Now I say it's interesting because the gut feeling I have about Posey is that he was a great player and he was the best player for a franchise that won three World Series titles in six years. If you lean toward a player with a high peak and value players who have success through the three or four levels of playoffs, and I do, then yes, Posey's a Hall of Famer. Over the six-year span, the Giants weren't one dynastic unit. The club used a lot of role players in a deep bullpen. The star was Buster Posey. Even as a catcher, he was their best offensive player. And between 2010 and 2019, he led the Giants in war. Ten wins above replacement, above Madison Bumgarner, who was second, and more than 17 above the next best position player, Brandon Crawford, who was a good player. Posey also has the best OPS+, plus, run expectancy, and most runs created for that club in that run. I want to underline a point. Posey wasn't just on a team that won championships. He was the best player for a team that won championships. Winning championships in the multi-tiered playoff era isn't the random happenstance that it once was when only one team from each league made the playoffs. Now, as it turns out, Posey's peak wasn't all that long. Over an eight-year span, he averaged nearly five war per season, even missing out 2011, most of it, after this infamous collision at the plate. His OPS plus in that time was an impressive 136, but his decline was swift. A hip injury made him a below league average hitter from 2018 to 2019, and he didn't play, as I mentioned, in 2020. He's now going into his age 34 season and is now four years removed from being an elite player. As of right now, Posey has a career war of 42. That puts him right in the middle of this group. This is a good group. Some of the top catching candidates for the Hall of Fame. In terms of war, Posey is still behind Thurman Munson, Bill Freehand, Jorge Posada, and just ahead of Yadier Molina. Now, you can make a case for any one of these players, but they're still on the outside looking in, despite being just outside the top 10 at the position in career war. It does bring up a point. Players like Buster Posey and Yadier Molina are highly respected, basically viewed as Hall of Famers while they're playing. Thurman Munson, his life and career obviously cut short after the tragic plane crash, was seen the same way when he was playing. And that's a valid point for all three. All three were championship players and leaders, as well as being tangibly great at their peak. So let's compare the catchers at their peak. It's a physically debilitating position, so we'll use their best eight years. Now that suits Posey, but it actually does the rest on this list too. That's how it works out for a catcher. Joe Maurer and Munson lead the way at five war per year. Posey is close at 4.7. Joe Maurer is the best hitter with an OPS plus of 139. He'll be on the ballot someday. Uh, but you can see Posey is just a shade below at 136. I included Ted Simmons, who will be inducted into the Hall of Fame this summer. Simmons was a very good offensive player, and his war per year in this stretch, 4.6, and OPS plus 136, nearly identical to Buster Posey. Now, it points to two things. These are all catchers at the Hall of Fame border, not necessarily over the line, or two, given how difficult the position has become, maybe it's time to reevaluate the standards for what a Hall of Fame catcher is supposed to be.